Hey, a pleasant good day, everyone. This is Sportsnet News. I'm Joe Borg, and this is going to be the next NHL team preview on the New Jersey Devils season coming in off of a downtrodden 19, 30, and 7 season for 35 total points in the shortened season last year, but showing some promise, obviously, as certain players have continued to develop. And like Jaeger Sharangovich came in and was a very pleasant surprise in how good he was able to adjust to the North American game. But when it comes to this New Jersey Devils team, obviously they are huge on Nico Heischer down the middle and huge on the young Jack Hughes down the middle as well. That trying to say that three times fast. So this team is really banking on those two centermen to continue to develop and to continue to be the mighty factors of this team. As time goes on, right now you are projected all as 7th in the Metro by the Hockey News and by most projections that I've looked at around on the internet, it's usually around the same 7th, some have you 6th, but there are some fun young players nonetheless to follow on this New Jersey Devils team and one is Dawson Mercer who is supposed to be, according to projections, on the third line for the first game, centering uh, Andres Janssen who is seemingly maybe going to become one of those swing guys between the AHL and NHL that you can use in the bottom six if you have to, but you're still going to want to have to find a better bottom six as time goes on here in Jersey to have the best success. But you do have Tomas Tatar with him, who is a very successful bottom six player that can do what you want him to do down there. But what the big things are for this Jersey team is it seems like they have some guys, a Yanni Kukunen, who's a young player at 23, put up 25 points in 50 games last year, that are going to be able to fit in well, as, lo- as well as Sharon Gervis and Jack Hughes. That has a chance to be a very good young line if they decide to go with that. Then the other line's young as hell, too. you got Pavel Zaka at 24, Nico Hischer at 22, Jesper Brad at 23. So this team is really trending in the way- right direction. It's not too far away. The question, obviously, for the uh, New Jersey Devils is going to be in net realistically when it comes to that until Mackenzie Blackwood is fully healthy. He has day-to-day with his foot injury, but I'm just wondering because foot injuries tend to linger sometimes. Hopefully it's just one of those things that's day-to-day he comes back and it doesn't linger. We'll have to see as the season starts. But you guys made a smart pickup, I think, of Jonathan Bernier as well. So this Devils team is like one of those teams that projected seventh, and I think that's around where the projection should be coming into the season. But just like we saw the Blackhawks get off to a hot start last year, they got the young talent. They got the higher echelon, honestly, young talent, like I said about the Senators team, because you guys have the Hughes of the world, the Heeshears, the Sharangoviches of the world, where they figured it out with the Matthew Hymers of the world, um, and all those guys that were able to step in and kind of have the Kirishevs of the world and everybody else that were able to have good seasons. So I think if you or a team that has a chance to be a surprise team. That Yeah, this team has a chance to be a surprise team. I don't think it's going to be a surprise team, though, in the factor of making the postseason. I think it would be a surprise team in the factor of getting closer to that 500 mark to then build more next year in terms of then building on that to then be closer and closer to the playoffs with this core that you're developing of Sharon Gervis, huge, of Jesper Bratt, Heeshear, and Pavel Zaka there, plus obviously... You also have the defense of Ryan Graves you were able to bring in, which is huge, and Dougie Hamilton, which is huge, for going forward as well once that offense and once that forward court is able to come into fruition. Plus, they, of course, have Luke Hughes as well, who's developing on defense. And you have Alexander Holtz, who's going to add to that forward court in the near future, who's very good, as well as Nolan Foote, who's a nice big body player that you were able to get from Tampa last year. So the and and Maka Madulin, who I always mispronounce his name, but he's a huge defenseman that I kind of want the Flyers to pick. And you guys got him. So congratulations on that. So you have some nice players coming up on defense and in the forward court. You already have the nice top two lines, like I said, plus Dawson Mercer, who's a very good, nice developing player in his own right. That is a very um, dynamic guy on the puck, and he's very intelligent and crafty. So it's going to be fun to watch him. We already seen guys play good. Uh, Sillinger got an assist in his first game. McTavish scored in his first game. Guys don't look overwhelmed. This is a younger games league now. We've seen guys get contracts like Suzuki at a younger age. We just saw uh, the McAvoys of the world. So it's happening, and these guys are really 
coming in and having success at a young age. So I wouldn't be surprised if Dawson Mercer is one of those cats too that's able to do that. And we'll have to see if he's a guy that you guys continue to keep up throughout the season or if he's someone you give that trial period to and then send down. But either way, I don't think it'll be a playoff season for the New Jersey Devils, but it will be a successful one that they could be a surprise team, just like the Blackhawks last year, to show you're definitely uh, in a better spot than them too because you have the higher-end guys already up and you're going to be a team that has these prospect pool in the back end that's going to continue to keep that going that you would stay and probably have a success rate for a longer period of time than them, that when they find it, they still have some of the aging players, obviously, out there in Chi-Town with those young cats. Where this team is all young, minus the Tomas Tatars of the world, is the only guy other than PK that is in his 30s that's going to be in the starting lineup, unless if we want to count Jonathan Bernier, the goaltender. So I think this team's really set for the future. This year, you want to just keep getting closer and closer to 500 to build for the future, and I think that's exactly what's going to happen, particularly if Mackenzie back Blackwood is healthy and really plays a great consistent game himself so stay safe everybody peace out i hope you enjoyed this new jersey devil season preview subscribe down below or up atop on the easy to use widget if you enjoy the content and enjoy the nhl season everybody and best of luck to you all out there devil's fans